I am here at the Kara Heritage Center. The Kara Heritage Center was established by Dr. Matole Motseha, who was once the prima of Gauteng, the most wealthiest province in South Africa. He was a prima, the prima, the word prima is also referred to as governor. He was the governor of Gauteng in South Africa. Now the Kara Heritage Center is a, the largest center in Africa that houses African heritage, wisdom, knowledge, experiences, talents, and anything we can think about Africa of old. We are living in the modern times when we are submerged in the Western traditions, in the Western culture. This multi-million rent center, African center, addresses issues of inferiority, addresses issues of the very fact that Africans and their history is not what you find in the books, in the libraries, across the common man who has been sold a lie by Western subjugation, Western centers of learning, where they portray Africans as without history, without any development, and that makes Africans to be in fe to feel inferior because they rely on others customs, they rely on others' heritages, they rely on others' evolution instead of discovering who they are from their history and their background. When you submerge yourself in African traditions and African ways of life of old, not the modern ways, which is just pure nonsense, but reality of Africans, way back 4,000, 6,000 years ago, you'll realize how superior the African race is, and the reason, I mean, and, and the, the, the continent of Africa, why is it called the mother continent? If Africa is called the mother continent, the origin of all species, then Africans are also the origin of all humanity. Recently studies have been made by Stanford University that all human race comes or emerges from Africa. Africa is the mother continent, is acknowledged by all races. But what is not acknowledged is that Africans, being part of Africa, are the source of all humanity. Now, when we are here, right here at this multi-million center, the Kara Heritage Center, you will come with a new perspective about Africans. You will come with a different way of looking at Africa. And as an African, you will have or derive a sense of self-worth away from the lies and the cheating by the Western people. All what you have learned about Africa, that is dominant in publications is a distorted image. Now the purpose of this center here is to moving from this center to envelop the whole Africa, to bring this uh, new perspective of Africa in the hearts of Africans across the world. And it starts here in the Kara Heritage Center in South Africa. Now you can you may ask what does the word Kara means? The word Kara is about Africa. The word Africa comes from Afura, the land of my Lord.
Sahara is the root word of Africa. It is a theology of Africans, the spirituality of Africans that has propelled and made Africans to evolve throughout the many years of, of existence. Right now, even we even thought there has been so much violence perpetrated on Africans, so much subjugation of Africa. Africans has, have, or have survived all and to establish themselves anew from slavery, from, away from slavery, away from colonialism, away from apartheid, to come to a full essence of their own. And with this is this center here is building a new African, is building the soul, is rebuilding the soul of an African to the originality far away from the lies. Now, here, this place here, where I am now, it is a place of discussions, it is a place of meditations. When you go back to history of Africa, you find that they, they, sell, they relied more on meditation to build character, to connect yourself with the spirits. Uh, because the religion of Africans is a spiritual religion. It's not a, a religion of conquering other people. It's not a religion of accumulation. It's not a religion of outside looking. It is an inward looking to establish peace within, not uh, go out and conquer things with the th thought of getting peace from the external things. Africans have long realized that peace is from within. Peace is you connecting your, your soul with the spirit that has caused all creation. It's not about having a Mercedes Benz. It's not about accumulation of stuff. It is about the internal peace that gives you strength, that gives you happiness, that gives you joy. And that these are aspects of Africans from the oldest times. When you go through the right through African history, you find from that from that history that there they were there were no distress, there were no stress, there was no depression, there was no worry, there was no there were no people who were committing suicide. Now, all these things, as I just mentioned, they are the characteristics of the modern world influenced or submerged in Western culture, Western civilization, Western knowledge, Western philosophy, Western religion. Right in the midst of the modern world, where we are told that we have advanced because of technological breakthroughs, we have people committing suicide. We have people having heart attacks because they cannot comprehend their life existence. We have people daily living under stress. We have people daily living under fear and uh, daily living under worry, daily living under anxiety, daily living under depression. Now these things cannot be found in the African history, cannot be found among Africans. Even now, when these Africans are, are in, under the influence of modern westernized uh, way of life, you'll find that there's, uh, there's still that little antidote of being an African, where among the Africans there is less of stress, there is less of heart attacks, there is less of people committing suicide. The, the focus of Africans was, were not the external establishment, were the establishment of the soul. The soul, they realize, is the center of humanity. The internal focus, it brings strength outside, from the inside out, not from outside out, going out there and bringing things inside. It is from within, from the spirit realm that you find happiness, that you find yourself, that you find your true being, that you find health, goodness, gentleness, happiness. And out of that, you are able to, rel to relate with other fellows without any competition. Now, the modern world emphasizes the fact that we must compete one another, we must compete about fighting each other to see who is the best. Not realizing that we come from one spirit, now, if you come from one spirit, how can one be the best for another one? We have all tal different talents, 
all these talents must be harnessed and used effectively for the uh, uh, evolving of our consciousness, evolving of our spirituality. There is no other person who is called a fool. There is no other person who is called an inferior person. But these are the things that are perpetuated in the modern world. We have the modern world that says other human races are inferior and other human races are superior. This is, an, is, is a distorted way of life. It is primitive. It is uh, 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 ugly. It is not true. It is foul. It is connect, disconnecting you from reality, just like they, they have disconnected Africans from their reality with their books, with their publications, magazines, internet uh, 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 postings. What they say about Africans is a lie and their philosophy is based on a lie. So the, uh, what I like about the Kara Heritage Center is the realization of bringing Africans into their own perspectives. Now, in this place here, right at the center here, if you can, we can come and look at it here. You see right here at the center here, there is a little a palm here. This is the lily of the valley. When you are here, you, are, you will be taught about the, the lily of the valley. How the lily of the valley grows from hardships, go, go through difficult times, uh, go from uh, mud and thorns and all kinds of of, of, of conflict, of, 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 of uh, 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 pressure, to become the most beautiful flower. The African lily of the valley is the most beautiful flower across the whole world. Even the Bible were told about how the lily of the valley is the most beautiful plant when it has grown through difficult times, through hardships. Now, right at the center of the Kara Heritage Center here, in this place here, uh, the teaching that is being addressed about this plant at the center of this uh, uh, place of discussion is that we have come to the level where Africans are blossoming to become the most beautiful flowers in the world. Africans has, have went through stress has went through hardships, has went through uh, slavery, uh, subjugation, colonization, apartheid. They've been called all kinds of names from subhuman to baboon and monkey. But now Africans have claimed their authority as the superior race, the people of the mother continent. Now they are advancing themselves. The wisdom is now catching up with them of, of who they are essentially. You can lie so much, but there's time when the truth will overcome the lies. And we are, are coming to that level when Africans are realizing who they are coming from the mother continent and being part of the mother continent. That means that they are the source of all the human race. As you see, this place here is quite a vast place. There are so many things that you can look at, and they're still under construction, as you can see here. There's a lo lot of construction, and you see the, those people, they're still uh, building up a, a, a center for debates and discussions and all kinds of activities that will bring out the wisdom of Africans. So this is just an introductory part of what uh, we are trying to do with African harmonic psychotherapy, to harness that knowledge, to bring new knowledge, new ideas to the African. Which the, the new ideas is not just is not new uh, in that sense of the word, but something that was lost, disconnected from Africans, and now is being made available for all Africans to come to the level of truth, to come to the level of reality, to come to the level of the essence of being an African. The place of Africa is the land of my Lord. It is the place of spirituality, not the place 
of individuality where people are going out in conquest of other people, winning battles and winning wars. There was no world war in Africa. When the whole world was engaged in world wars, in Africa there was no world war. What we had was the people in, 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 in tribes and clans. They were not fighting one another. They were relating to each other in harmony, intermarriages, and intertrade. Wars and battles and, and tribal wars came with colonization. When colonization came and the people from the West, they tried to mingle the, all the tribes of Africa into one. And that was not the, the, the morphology or the cosmology of Africa. The, the, the morphology and cosmology of Africa is that we have all kinds of tribes in harmony with one another, relating to one another, intermarrying into one another. They re re recognize their, their, their essence as a tribe, but they also recognize that as a tribe they belong to all Africa. So there was no war. There was no subjugations. Otherwise, we'll have that when you tap into history, we'll see all these major wars fought, but there was no major war in Africa. It's only skirmishes, conflicts, and those conflicts are harnessed and brought to peace. There will be a battle from one this tribe and that tribe, maybe because of uh, some territory or uh, hunting in uh, some uh, uh, other tribe's lands, but afterwards there is discussions and everything is solved in peace. We, we never had Adolf Hitler, we never had have, uh, uh, people like Julius Caesar went out to conquer the whole world. It is a land of peace. It is a land of merrymaking. It's a land of music. It's a land of, of, of enjoyment, of good company. But, I mean, that is Africa. It is not Africa that we're speaking, we speaking about as Africa that we, we want to reestablish is not what you've been told. You first, you have to unlearn all the lies, all the convoluted lies that you've been told throughout uh, your existence. To come to reality, to come to the truth, it is going to be hard for you to come to the essence of what African harmonic psychotherapy teaches. African harmonic psychotherapy is intended to remove the lies and bring in the right psychology in your systems. So what you are teaching is not academic psychology. It's a different psychology that is rooted in the existence of Africans, that is rooted in the cosmology of Africans, that is rooted in African spirituality, which is a, 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 a spirituality of the source. Out of it emanate all other spirituality, as you can see. You can study a lot of publications that Dr. Ma Ma Motsaka put out, but what you, what we have here in African Harmonic Psychotherapy is to synthesize all kinds, all literature on this newfound uh, truth about Africans, to bring it to light, to bring it to the people of Africa, to make Africans to awaken themselves, uh, to realize their renaissance, their rebirth, their reawakening from the lies, from the cheating, from the slavery, from colonialism, to, from what be, being called subhuman, being called ape, being called baboon, being called monkey. Now, these are the people who are calling themselves civil, 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 civilized. Who call other people baboons, monkeys, boboyan, subhuman? They are philosophers. When you read their philosophers, these are people whom they rely on. The books of philosophy, they talk about Africans as not human. But now we are realizing that they, are, they were telling lies. Now you ask yourself, if they're telling lies on that, about your existence as an African, how many other lies you don't know that they've been telling you? How many other lies you are living daily on? You are submerged under these lies and you don't realize it. You just live. You must come to perspectives of who you are as an African, away from what people, away from other people's narratives, to your true being, to your true essence. Walk in the light of your originality, your identity as a person of Africa.